we don't leave until the last veteran is seen. It's usually standing room only and every seat's full. We welcome all the vets here. We do our meeting. Uh, while we're doing the meeting, uh, we're doing triage, basically going through everybody's paperwork, the DAV contact brief, just kind of assessing what they need. All right, now it's our favorite time. If you've had an increase from the last meeting to this meeting, please stand up so we can acknowledge you. They know we get the job done. People come and it's, you know, by referral. You ask somebody, how'd you find out about this? And they say, well, I found out from my cousin who found out from his friend who found out from his uncle. We have about eight service officers here at 102. I mean, we start banging it out, calling people. Uh, as fast as we can. It's a little overwhelming. It's not something I would typically do, but these guys seem to know their stuff and they're getting through everybody. So seeing everything they're doing here has definitely convinced me to join. My neighbor encouraged me to come down here and uh, yeah, it's been an amazing first impression. If we could help one more vet get whatever benefit they're entitled to that they fought for that defending this country, I mean, damn, we need to do it. It's tiring sometimes, but oh, so worth it, you know, it's, it's good for your heart. So anyway, we'll keep fighting for you. Don't give up. Yeah, we don't quit. I mean, we stay until everything's done, you know, and every veteran that comes to this is taken care of. And if that goes to two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning, that's, we're here. That's, that's why we do it. It's a labor of love, I guess you could say.